Oh man, the day I've been dreading is finally here. We are officially leaving <clears throat> Acadia National Park. Between staying at the Narrows 2000 Trails and actually in Acadia in the Scudic Woods on the Scudic Peninsula, we've been here for two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, and we've loved this place. This place is so beautiful. We've done so much here. We've done a lot of new things, created a lot of new memories, have gone above and beyond our uh, what we used to consider our limits. We pushed through them. The kids hiked, they enjoyed it. We've seen so many beautiful views, sunsets, sunrises. It's just, it was a great time. All good things, they must come to an end and we must continue on with our journey. So from here, we're leaving here. We do have a very long travel day. We have about an almost five hour drive. We are heading over to New Hampshire and we are staying uh, two nights at the Green Mountains National Forest. And we had plans on going up to the top of Mount Washington to go to the Mount Washington Summit. Fortunately, those plans have changed. Uh, we will not be doing that. So we'll probably just check out something we can drive to, maybe do a hike or just fortunately cannot check out the a park like we had originally planned and from there we head over to uh, Vermont uh, for about a week in total two different spots in Vermont and then from there you'll just have to make sure you're subscribed and follow along to see where else we're headed and what other adventures we're getting into I need to get things put away hitched up get on the road This campground uh, this is a national forest campground we book through the national park system using our access pass but it is only 30 amp so we're going to hook our 50 amp up to this dog bone here so we'll put this in here make sure the connection is nice and tight and then we're going to put 30 amp in and flip it we have what we're looking for, turn it back off, and then we'll just hook it up. But let's come here for a second. We can stop that one. This is why I always get nervous whenever I open up a power box. Got a nice little spider. Is that guy just sitting right there? You never know what you're gonna get when you open these things. So we had a quick two night stay over in Dolly Cop Campground in the white mountains national forest in uh, gorham new hampshire uh, this place is beautiful coming from acadia i was not sure if it was going to be underwhelming uh, but i'll tell you what it's pretty overwhelming i mean we were up on the top of cadillac mountain which is you know less than 2,000 feet elevation and mount washington which we didn't get a chance to go up to the top of but we could kind of see it it was way up in the clouds it's over 6,000 feet three times the size of Cadillac Mountain which is pretty incredible after just spending almost a month in Acadia and thinking that was the coolest place ever so we didn't really get to explore much here we have already put this on our must come back and see and do list and probably spend at least a week here uh, so this campground uh, we did get 50% off with our access pass and so i paid about 12 13 dollars a night it's off only 30 amp and water there is a dump station like i said we were only here for two nights first time on 30 amp total i was freaked out about it at first uh totally easy probably because it was in the 60s and we didn't need to run two acs so that definitely helped but overall this campground was awesome certain parts you might have some good starlink service other parts Probably not where we are. 
We're getting interruptions about every 45 seconds. There is zero cell service. AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon has no service whatsoever. You cannot do anything. You cannot make a phone call. So keep that in mind if you are planning on booking here, but it's worth it. We have, we're in the river loop. So we have the river right behind us, which we could hear that all night long. We opened up the windows, had that running. So it was well worth it. But now uh, we're packing up, trying to get out of here because we do have to go to the dump station. We have four tanks to dump and we are heading over to Vermont. So before we get on the road, one last quick stop. We are in the visitor center, ranger station, because we came yesterday and the kids picked up a, a junior ranger booklet from the National Forest System and they're in there getting their patches. So I'm trying to get some quick work done while they're in there. Now we're gonna get on the roof. Today, we are at the Rock of Ages quarry in Barrie, Vermont. So what's cool about this quarry is it is the deepest quarry in the world. Um, it's right behind us. It's over here, back behind that little mountain back there. So it's the deepest quarry in the world. And I guess the most famous quarry in the world. So they use the granite out of here to create a ton of memorials for people. Um, the uh, Flight 93, 9-11 memorial was made out of this, uh, Martin Luther King one, Ronald Reagan. So there's a ton of uh, famous memorials that have been made from the granite that comes from this quarry. So we missed the last tour of the day, uh, but they do have a pretty cool visitor center with a movie to uh, teach you a lot about this. So we didn't get to do the tour, but the tour definitely did look like it would be pretty cool, pretty fun. Hey, thanks for watching everybody and if you want to see more of our videos go ahead and click this video right here and if you're not subscribed make sure you click this button right here we'll see you next time <laughs>